Hi guys, this is Clyde and Karami with Nerd News Social, and we are here with uh, Mike, Mike, and Drew, uh, part of Wild Bills. Uh, and thank you guys for being here with us. Thank you for having us. Thanks for having us. Thank you for having yeah. us. Uh, so I just wanted to ask, and you guys can answer collectively or separately, uh, how did you guys get uh, involved with the company and everything that it is now? Yeah, so Wild Bills has been around since 2002. It wasn't until 2017 where my business partner here, Mr. Quilty, um, saw Wild Bills as a great opportunity to create meaningful work employment for um, our veterans of the country. Um, and that's when we got involved and took the business from a local New Jersey operation to national. Now you see us at 300 plus events a year. All across, all across the country and we have, uh, we have Marines, we have Army, arm, folks in the Army, Navy, um, but really focused on hiring and recruiting uh, veterans. Newly sworn in Air Force? Yeah, we have Airmen. one newly swear, sworn in Air Force veteran who's with us today. Richie. Richie. Yeah. Richie. Uh, that, that's actually really amazing, guys. Um, and so how do you guys get the word out there for uh, people that have served our country uh, that, you know, this is a big company for them? Yeah. Okay. Definitely. So uh, Drew here is actually, you want to talk about Warrior Reunion Foundation? So yeah, I, I actually helped launch a, um, a nonprofit back in two, early 2017 that focuses on, we do cost-free reunions for units that deployed to combat together. Um, so myself and uh, my platoon commander, he's the, he's the uh, original founder of the organization we helped launch. We do these cost-free reunions all, through, all throughout the nation for units that deployed to combat together. Um, we just wrapped up our, I think, roughly 20, 28 since 2017. And uh, it was my involvement in that that eventually led to me getting recruited over to Wild Bills. And uh, along with a, probably about four or five other veterans at the time, luckily enough, four or five veterans that I actually served in that same unit. Um, and we have since then, um, you know, really projected that towards the veteran community. And this being a great fit, there's a lot of similarities between um, how we operated in the military and how we operate and execute these events out, out throughout the nation. Yeah, and we, I mean, we support a lot of the reunions that they host every year, um, and we work with, you know, hiring agencies who specialize in working with veterans. Also, every reunion that we, that uh, every reunion that Warrior Reunion Foundation does, um, Wild Bills actually, by in, in the ways that we support, we actually do uh, mugs for, uh, customized mugs for every unit. Um, so every, we'll put the unit insignia on there, we'll get them out there, we'll have them at, have them at the reunion. Um, we have we, we order extras so we have the ability to get get more out to those that have, weren't able to attend the reunion for whatever reason. But, and we should mention that's the, the uh, WRF on our sleeves. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's amazing, guys. Um, and how uh, do you guys have like a number of how many veterans you guys help out every year, or is there like a statistic like that? Well, we could say pre-COVID, uh, you know, before all the events came to a grinding halt, uh, we had a full-time staff of 50 plus people and was more than 50% of the staff was veterans at that point. Um, we support, we're gonna support 12 reunions in 2022. Um, and we have a goal of having 10 veteran franchisees in, over the next few years too. Uh, and uh, speaking of COVID, um, how did it affect you guys? I saw that, you know, you guys have started selling cans, uh, which is cool. And I'm gonna go ahead and order some tonight or tomorrow when I get Appreciate home. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we went, so we did 330 events in 2019. We were on track to do 400 events in 2020. Um, our last event was like PAX East weekend in uh, March 2020. In Boston. And in Boston. Came to a grinding halt after that. Um, no events the rest of the year, essentially. So we basically came to z went to zero. Um, we had some traction with online selling cans on Amazon. And then we have such loyal customers who we, we have their emails and their phone numbers from the show. And we started reaching out to them and engaging them online. And uh, we had a great response, and uh, we appreciate all the support throughout COVID. But big pivot, a tough one too. Yeah. And since since uh, the shows have come back, so now we sell online on Amazon and our website. We do these events, and just in the last two to three months, we've actually started selling our canned soda into retail as well, which is new for us. And we're in uh, a lot of high-end barbecue sandwich shops, interesting places. Uh, but folks love the soda, and now they have a place to get it in their local town. Uh, and uh, what is your guys' favorite uh, flavor? Hands down, vanilla cream for me. And mine is a mix of vanilla cream and orange. It's like some creamsicle action. Um, I'm from the Northeast, so I, I do the birch beer. It's like a, 
a rootier kind of Christmas soda. has a little bit of that herbal extract flavor. It's probably the most unique flavor. And then in cans, we have flavors we don't have on the taps, like Dr. Bill's. It's our version of a classic, like Dr. Pepper. Strawberry cream. We did some seasonal flavors, like a pumpkin spice and apple pie. Yeah. All right, that's awesome. Yeah, the first time I actually met uh, saw, or interacted with Wild well, Bills was at Walker Stalker Con in 2019. San Jose. So, San Jose. Yeah. That's where I'm from. Um, but, show, but yeah, I was there. The, you were there. I was there. That was yeah. a good show for us. <laughs> yeah, it was great. Um, all right, guys. R.I.P. Walker Stalker. I know. R.I.P. <laughs> yeah, The Walking Dead is the is dead. Um, all right, guys. Well, thank you so much for being here with us. Um, and uh, I'm I'm happy you guys uh, did really well, and you guys have great support, and the veteran thing is amazing. Uh, and yeah, yeah, you guys are just great. So thank you for being Appreciate with us. It. We want to guys. say thanks to all of our customers, and I know there's a lot of listeners and followers for you that, that are follow- customers of ours, and we're very grateful. Very, very, very grateful. Cheers. Oh, wow. Cheers. 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 Cheers.